Well, he looks supremely ready for a, a, a two-mile race here. Other horses to look well. Crosshaws looks OK. Al Pompey, Dark Czar, no problems there. In fact, Paris Fire and O'Hara look extremely well. All these horses are really primed for this today. But summing it up, very, very keen I am on number six here, that bell. Hardest to beat, the heavily backed number four, Miltac. And we'll put in number three, Al Pompey, for third. Thanks very much, Ron. Now, race number six, Adelaide. 440 and 190. The previous Durbridge number one, nice winner from eight, Romany Conti. And five was third, and that was Mara Kiz. The um, Oaks went to two, Alcove. Patrick Payne beat eight, Cito Flowery, and 11 booked third. All our mob took the third, the second to Lager, and the first hot to race. Sydney Cup last year going to Azan, and uh, he lines up in the 1994 event. Miltak, written by Brian York, who won the BMW honour. Regwade Brisbane. All set now. The 1994 Sydney Cup field is off and running. And Azam immediately dropped out to last, second last, Harmonious. And the leader early is our Pompey, narrowly from cross swords. Gold Sovereign up looking for the front spot. Paris Fires poking through nearer to the inside. And then Dark Czar followed by O'Hara. A gap, Harmonious, colour me happy. Miltag settling, little worse than midfield and one off the rails. Then Azam followed well back Palais de Louvre. Here that bell is second last and three lengths to Grass Valley. Up to the home corner in the Sydney Cup on the first occasion. And Gold Sovereign leads the way three quarters of a length on cross swords about six lengths away third is paris fire one to our pompeii and wider out is o'hara a length and a half harmonious on the inside of dark czar as arm racing on the inside of miltak about two lengths the new zealander color me happy around palais de lube second last a horse off the fence here that bell and two lengths to grass valley as they race down the home straight here at randwick towards the judge around to go and the leader is gold sovereign about three quarters of a length over cross swords a leisurely run Cup it is. Third is O'Hara, Paris Fire, fourth on the fence, two lengths to our Pompeii. Racing on the outside of Harmonious, the field racing in pairs. Dark Czar is next on the outside of Azam, and then Miltak, Palais de Louvre, the rails from Colour Me Happy. Second last is Grass Valley, and here that bell drops out last as they wind out of the straight and go up past the 1900 metres, and Gold Sovereign makes play in the cup. It's Gold Sovereign about a length and a half clear on cross swords. Some four lengths, O'Hara. Paris fires over on the fence, fourth with 1800 to travel, out Pompey next from Harmonious, as arm racing inside of Dark Czar, two lengths to the favourite, Miltak around Palais de Lou from Calamie Happy Grass Valley and here that bell is last, 15 lengths from the leader, Gold Sovereign, who goes past the halfway mark at the 1600 with a lead of two and a half cross swords four lengths away, O'Hara in third spot, followed on the inside Paris Fire, tracking O'Hara is our Pompey from Harmonious on the fence, a little over a length, the Dark Czar is arm snoogered from Miltak, who's right on the back of Dark Czar from Palais de Louvre, and then comes Colour Me Happy. Grass Valley the inside, and here that bell is last. And the rider starting to make a little ground on here that bell as the Sydney Cup field passes the 1200. And Gold Sovereign, he's keen to run. He's a half length cross swords, two to our Pompeii. Paris Fire fourth on the rails over O'Hara, then a gap to Harmonious and Azam. A length the Dark Czar, two to Miltak. Colour Me Happy, then Palais de Louvre. Here that bell second last about 12 off the lead and Grass Valley is last of all onto the side they come they race over the 850 crossing and Gold Sovereign a real roughy he pilots the field three quarters of a length cross sword from our Pompey O'Hara Dark Czar is next Paris Fire locked away a length though his arm snookered and then comes Harmonious as they race up towards the home bend followed at the head of the others then Colour Me Happy two lengths to Miltak Palais de Louvre here that bell is second last and three lengths to Grass Valley around the corner in the 1994 Sydney Cup and Gull Sovereign tackled in earnest by Cross Swords a length and a half hour Pompeii Paris Fire waiting for the run then comes O'Hara, Dark Czar, Palais de Louvre here that bell is arm and two to Miltak Cross Swords hits the front for Gavin Eads Cross Swords a half length clear Gull Sovereign Paris Fire into the open and down the outside here that bell Cross Swords the leader here that bell won't get it Cross Swords wins the cup from here that bell third between Azam and Gold Sovereign from Paris Fire. Then came at the head of the others Miltak and our Pompeii and then Grass Valley Palais de Louvre. Dark Czar pulled up quickly in the run on a real bustle up there from Colour Me Happy, Harmonious and O'Hara. Cross Swords, Gavin Eads.
On the Super Tab, number five, Cross Swords to return 11.80 and 2.75. Number six, hear that bell to pay 90. We'll wait for third. It's a photo. On the New South Wales tote, $23 and $4.80. In fact, it'll be $23.80 and $4.80. Well, what an autumn for Gavin Eads. Number five, always raced up handy. Hear that bell started to rattle home down the outside. And it'll get second, and Azam will be third. Hear that bell number six will pay $1.90, and Azam number one at um, $4.60. Super tab for one, Azam $2.05. On the cup, Cross Swords, a Bay Gilding Six having its 44th start for its 10th win by Grosvenor from Quibble. Raced by Jack and Bob Ingham's Woodland Stud Syndicate, trained by John Hawkes, and again Gavin Eads. What are the. A highly excitable and uh, happy guy he is. He thrust the hand out, thrust his hand into the air as he went past the post on cross swords. Shades of uh, his emotions and excited uh, style when the number went up, Pharaoh winning the Doncaster handicap. And uh, Gavin coming back to the enclosure. I don't know whether he kissed the clerk of the course today number six second hear that bell by ring the bell from madison square a five-year-old bay gilding well he was rapidly overhauling the winner but the post was a little too close he took a, a while to really hit his top stride here that bell and he was going to the post with our zarm better than anything else trained by john my larry cassidy and azam a grey horse seven Ch chief crown princess ula david hayes glenn boss number 11 gold sovereign ran fourth Gee, he ran a mighty race, the pacemaker. A number eight, Paris Fire, who looked the winner when he got through. He was in trouble getting a run at the top of the straight. Then he got through, looked as though he might go on, but he didn't quite see out the two miles. And Miltak, well, Miltak, she was the grave flopper of the race. It's five, six, and one in the cup. Cross swords first. Second to number six, hear that bell. Third going to number one, Azam. 11 fourth, eight fifth. The time was 328.8. 328.8. Gosh. They ran the first 1,600 in 148.9. 148.9, the last 600 metres in 36 seconds. That time, incidentally, 328.8. The record is held, race and course record, at 3.19. Well, that's the story of the Cup. Quinella, $63, trifecta, 1,886.10. And the margins in a blanket finish, a short neck by a neck. A short neck by a neck. Here's Rod. Thanks, Ian. I noticed uh, Gavin Eads wanting to take Jack, Denham, uh, Jack uh, Ingham's hat off. He was so excited. <laughs> but that's some feat. Race six at Cheltenham. One okay. Into the racing industry and continuing to do so. And, uh, well, they've been rewarded here with a Sydney Cup win, for which we check the tote dividends. Superfector at Newcastle on paying on 642815, $2,298. Number five, Cross Swords, paid $23.80 and $4.80. Number six, second, to hear that bell, paid $1.90 and one as arm, third, $4.60. $23.80, $4.80, $1.90, Quinella, $63, $63 even. The exacta paid $176.60, $176.60. The trifecta, $1,886.10, $1.886.10. Line is good, they're off and running now. Came away to good line, shut around the grey, bounced out quickly here. Bon Prasier and Andrami, and from the outside, Lavender Blue going over very quickly, and Poirot following it across with Sea Walk. As they go to the winning post, and Lavender Blue from the outside with Poirot and Seawalk, Bon Prasure, Santarad. Uh, they're followed just behind those going out of the straight now by Andrami. Out of the straight they swing, and oh, Bon Prasure and Seawalk pushed out wide. Assembly Man is now behind this leading division. Big Baron the fence from Cromatino steals Am the rail from Delmar. Further back then Regal Dynasty, Melissa led in the money, and well back Virtual Reality, Cagney and Zenithal. Lavender Blue in front down the back, led two lengths Poirot. Seawalk is third, a length further back on the inside, Chantarad fourth, three quarters the outside as Andrami running fifth, two lengths further back, Assemblyman inclined to pull. Bon Prasure caught out three deep on the fence, Big Baron one to steal Zam. A half further back then Cromatino followed out wider by Regal Dynasty, there followed by Delmar. Melissa led in the money and two then a virtual reality, Cagney and Zenithal. Down the back, Lavender Blue in front. Lavender Blue led out by two lengths now to Poirot on the outside of Chantarad, a neck away third, two lengths, Seawalk fourth. Big Baron on the inside of Andrami, three deep a length then Assemblyman covering up still. 
Steel Zan. They're followed by Bon Pressure out three deep a length for the back. Regal Dynasty and Delmar in the centre. Cromatino. Melissa led back on the rail from in the money and then Zenithal going forward. Cagney and Virtual Reality back at the tail. They've gone to the 800 metre mark now. Poirot's moved up on the outside and put its nose in front. It's up on the outside here of Lavender Blue. Little between them a length for the back. Shot a right third. Two then to Big Barons got up to fourth from Seawalk and they're followed by Assemblyman locked away behind them. Bon Pressure is wide and further back in the race then came Delmar. Still Zam back on the inside behind assembly man when they turn for home in the straight now lavender blue shot a right after it quickly from big baron assembly man going back to the fence so too still zam trying to get out bon pressure coming at them quickly out wider on the track and further back delmar it's bon pressure with big baron getting up on the fence big baron shot through on the inside hit the front from bon pressure assembly man late on the outside followed by cagney but big baron shot clear of bon pressure and assembly man and still zam big baron too good gets home two lengths in the run home to bon pressure assembly man or Steel Zam for third from Cagney and then Zenithal Delmar. A gap Cromatino shot a right in the money and further back Regal Dynasty, Seawalk and Drami, followed by Lavender Blue, Poirot, Melissa Lett, and Virtual Reality is last of all. Double to pay $50.10. When in place number one, Big Baron, $12.60 and $3.80. Two Bon Perso, $3.00 for third. Three Assembly Man, $1.80 or 13 Steel Zam, $2.20. On the Super Tab, one Big Baron to pay six fifteen and one dollar eighty five. Two Bon uh, Bon Presseur to return one forty. Those for third, three Assemblyman at ninety or number thirteen a Steel Zam to return ninety five. Written by Craig Din. The judge calling on the photo for the minus here. We've got Bon Presseur, Assemblyman, who was again held up for a run today, and native uh, and uh, the one back to the inside Steel Zam. Number two has got second Bon Presseur and Assemblyman's got third, so it's one two three. OK, one, two, three there in uh, Melbourne. A right set. This is about five out of line for the Frank Packer plate, in which number one is into tote favouritism. Now Tanner, $3.20, $1.60 from two Espinosa, three sixty one eighty. Cross Swords winning the cup number five, Gavin Eads from six and one. I hear that bell and Azam. Other winners have been Durbridge, Alcove, All Our Mob, Talaga and Hot to Race. So bookies have had a pretty good day here at Royal Randwick on the fourth day of the carnival. Sub for this event in Sydney is number two Espinosa. Two Espinosa, the sub here in Sydney. Let's go back to Ian. Sydney, move up. 2,000 metres, the journey of the Frank Packer plate. And the race last year was won by Play or Pay, written by Kevin Moses. Kev, of course, on Espinosa here today. Favourite on Super Tab here is one tenner at $3.150, ahead of two at three sixty one eighty. dollars them are here. And they're off. One of the best to commence was Espinosa. Away nicely was wider out of Marty Strike and Mansell Bays up looking for the front spot. Stalemate not far away on the same raging planet and Big Gabby. And then Bright Eyed as they settle down. It's a Marty Strike and Gavin Eads straight to the front now by two and a half, three lengths. Big Gabby around Mansell Bay. Then Stalemate Espinosa travelling inside Raging Planet. Two hunting a kiss and then Bright Eyed Castle Song. A link Darbus inside the favourite tenor and two length star dancer. Along the back and linking up with the 1400 Amadi strike shows the way a length and three quarters Big Gabby third is Mansell Bay followed by Stalemate then Espinosa three quarters Raging Planet the outside two and a half hunting a kiss and his girth on the fence is bright eyed over Castle Song Darbus Tenor being second last Star Dancer last back about 15 lengths from the leader Amadi strike as they race out of the back straight now and head along past the uh, 1000 metres and the leader is Amadi strike about a length on Big Gabby two and a half then Mansell Bay travelling inside of stalemate. Espinosa next from Raging Planet. Two lengths then to Bright Eyed. Racing inside of Hunting a Kiss. A gap to Darbus and Castle Song in the last two. Our star dancer on the inside of Tenor. Down by the 750. There's still no change in the order and a Marty strike. Pilots the Frank Packer plate field. Three quarters of a length to a length. Big Gabby. Two lengths away next. Mansell Bay ahead to Espinosa. The outside one Raging Planet. And as they race up past the 550 and travelling to the corner and Eads is starting to ride hard on a Marty strike. It's a Marty strike, only a half length on Big Gabby. Two lengths away, third is on the outside, Mansell by Espinosa looking for the run. So too is Darbus, Raging Planet sticking on and now Star Dancer is joining in from Tenor. Mansell by hits the front, here's the Kiwi Star Dancer, Espinosa sticking on. Espinosa and Star Dancer are going to battle out the pack of plate. Espinosa just the leader from Star Dancer, then Mansell by Espinosa 
holding Star Dancer, then Darbus, and Espinosa will win it. Espinosa has beaten Star Dancer and Darbus from Mansell Bay, Big Gabby, and then Castle Song, followed by Bright Eyed Raging Planet. Tenor was a flop, then Hunting a Kiss Stalemate, and the early leader was a distant last to Marty Strike. Double 115.60, correct weight, Brisbane. On the Super Tab, two Espinosa, 170 and 85. Six Star Dancer to return 85, and four Darbus to return 150. On the Tota New South Wales, $3.60 and $1.80. Number six, Star Dancer second, will pay $1.80. And number four, Darvis will get up for third, and the Tota dividend will be $3.10. I suppose a little compensation for John Ma with Espinosa, having been narrowly beaten in the Sydney Cup with Hear That Bell by Cross Swords. Espinosa... A very consistent horse, nine starts, four wins, two seconds and a third, and two starts here at Radwick for a 100% record in the Carbine Club last Saturday. And now on the Frank Packer plate, so he's picked up for his owners, Messrs. Palicia and Wilson, some very nice bickies. Two, six and four official, the winner by Esperanto from Country Custom, a Bay Gelding three. Kevin Moses up gives uh, Sydney's leading jockey a winning double. He booted all our mob first past the post in the third. The runner-up, number six, uh, Star Dancer, looked as though he might win at the uh, 200 metres, but he just weakened a shade in the last 50. A star.